Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2020 Deuces Wild and Jokers Wild car shows in Atlantic City. I came across a 1952 Ford pickup I think y'all are going to like. Let me get the camera turned around and we'll take a quick look at it. Let's start by saying a Ford in a Ford, right? No complaints on this one. What a cool truck. Got a hole in the hood, 15 inch wheels all the way around. That's always amazing to me, especially in 2020 when we're running 18s, 19s, 20, 22s on everything to see uh, something with 15 inch wheels on it that pu they pull it off, the stance looks good. And this truck is, is awesome. I think there's just enough done to it, custom wise, to make it different. But they didn't lose any of the cool from 1952. I love the color of it. The stance is right on. Like I tell people all the time, wheel choice is personal, but I'm cool with the wheels that they're running on it. Can dig door handles, did a little shaving, a little cleaned up. Gaps are right, fits right. Ghost flames, I love. Ghost stripes, ghost flames, I love all that. I love, I love anything ghost. When you have to look twice to see if it's even there, I really dig it. Custom headlights, but then they didn't change the rest of it. They just, you know, took it to a whole a higher standard than factory. Ah, it's a very cool truck. One off Rod and Customs had it at the Joker's Wild Car Show in Atlantic City. Custom interior. You can do so much with interiors and you have to be careful because you don't want the interior to outdo the rest of the build, but you want the interior to keep up with the build. You want it to, to balance out. And I think they did a good job of that. Because you know, when somebody walks up to a car that 50 feet away, that look you're seeing right there is what draws them to it. But you watch people, as soon as they walk up to a car, they're either gonna look under the hood or they're gonna look in the interior. And if the interior is right, they're gonna keep looking at it. If the interior is jacked up on it, they're gonna move away. It's got a tilt front end, you gotta love that. I'd say it's on hydraulics, it's on some sort of mechanism that is button operated. It's a good looking truck all the way around. I wouldn't I wouldn't make any changes to it. I think they I think they pulled this one together very nicely. Another shot of the interior. Very comfortable looking, usually user friendly. It's custom, but it's you know, it's not crazy custom because really the rest of the truck's not too crazy custom. It's you know, just got a pro street look to it. And although this interior is not full-blown race interior, it's, you know, it's very fitting for the build. I like the bed wood they chose. I think that goes really well. Gorgeous wood on top of, you know, it being the right shade because that's always important. I mean, the wood can be from light to dark, to gray, to blue, to red, to whatever. And uh, I think they did a very nice job of choosing the correct tone of wood to use in there. And this part of the, uh, of the weekend, it's all part of the Atlantic City Auto Auction and Car Show that's been going on for 47 years down at the Atlantic City Convention Center. This was actually at the Showboat Hotel. 552 Ford Big Block from 1970. Two Holly 950s on an 871 Supercharger. And then one of the, one of the tricks that one off Rod and Customs always does is they pinstripe their blower belts. Because about everything I've seen of theirs had a blower on it. And um, they pinstriped the blower belt. And I asked Gary, doesn't that wear off? And he's got a 32 Ford sitting over there. He said he's got 5,000 miles on it. And there's that pinstriping hasn't cracked on that belt or anything. It's kind of a cool little tip, you know. And you walk up to it and you see that and you automatically think, oh, I know who built this car.
I think they did a fine job up underneath here, making all that fit, cleaned it up. Custom headers. Just a nice, nice build all around. I like, you know, I always like to look at the actual hole that they put in the hood. Does it look like they hacked it with a butter knife? Or does it look like they took the time and it's finished and it could have came that way from the factory? Should have the factory decided to put a hole in the hood? In this case, very nice job. And then, look at those ghost flames. Just gorgeous. The whole paint. The shade and the application and everything, very nice. If you're in the area, make sure, it's it's every year in February, make sure you get out to Atlantic City Auto Auction and Car Show, Atlantic City Convention Center. Check it out. It's an auto auction, car corral, swap meet. It's an auto event. I mean, there's just a ton of going on. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. So there you go from the 2020 Joker's Wild Car Show in Atlantic City, 1952 Ford F1 pickup truck. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.